Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom, I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. And grace and peace to you, elect around the four winds, believing and pushing this truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rakaya from the GMS Orlando camp. And uh, tonight I want to go into this interesting article that I found earlier today. Uh, going into what an EMP strike would do to society. All right. And I want to go into this through the spirit tonight because recently we've been hearing a lot about an up and coming EMP attack, you know, an up and coming cyber attack and so on and so forth. And it's very important for us to hopefully like to understand how these things tie into prophecy. All right. How an EMP strike would tie into prophecy. All right. How a cyber attack ties into prophecy. All right. So without further ado, I have this article as well as a couple of scriptures and a video to play. Lord willing, we can learn ourselves something. All right, no willing to be edifying into the elect. Now, uh, tonight's lesson was originally inspired by a video that I caught from my Dabu 77 entitled Super EMP. The stage is set for North America to get hit by satellite, Russia, and allies. Get blamed. All right, and um, as I seen that title of the video, and excuse the, the noise I'm outside right now, so uh, bear with me. But um, as I seen the title for that video, uh, I searched up with an EMP strike would do all right because i didn't know exact i knew vaguely what an emp strike was but i didn't know exactly what it would uh what it exactly does so i looked it up on google what would happen in an emp attack and this is what i got it reads an emp attack would destroy the electronics and digital circuitry in the area of impact thereby denying electric power to our homes businesses and military our country is dependent on electricity to power our health financial transportation and business systems so Essentially, what an EMP strike would do would take out it would take out the the basic necessities of our lives. You know, essentially, all right, transportation, uh, health, all right, homes, business, military, all right, all these things run on electricity. All right, and in the case of an EMP attack, these things will be shut down. All right, therefore, sending America back into the 1800s. All right, back to where there was no electricity, back to where health wasn't able to be sustained by these different electrical devices, all right? Because nowadays, the brunt of the healthcare system is electronic, all right? Such as your defibrillators, your pacemakers, your ventilators, your life support systems, all right? The healthcare system, the system in general, all right, has a huge dependency on electricity, all right? So in the case of an EMP strike, all these things will shut off, therefore causing the bodies to pile up as dung upon the face of the earth, just like the scriptures say they would do. All right, let's grab that in Jeremiah 16. In verse 4, it reads, They shall die of grievous deaths. As a matter of fact, let's start at verse 1. All right, let's get the meat off the bone. It says, The word of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh came also unto me, saying, Thou shalt not take thee a wife, neither shalt thou have sons or daughters in this place. For thus saith the Lord concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning the mothers that bear them, and concerning the fathers that begat them in this land. They shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth. All right. And in the case of an EMP strike and all electric, uh, all electronic systems are shut down, bodies are going to start to pile up. All right. Because you have a lot of people out here who have electronics within their bodies helping them to live. All right. So in the case of an EMP strike, you're going to have a lot of these these uh, pacemakers are right, these defibrillators blow up in these people's chest, man. Or just shut down in general, causing them to have strokes, all right, causing them to have um, heart attacks, all right, and they're going to die grievously, just like the scriptures say. All right, it says, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried. And nobody's going to have time to lament and, and bury the hundreds of thousands of bodies when the electricity is off. All right, it's going to be a doggy -e dog world, just like um, um, that movie The Road or um, that movie... Uh, I am legend, all right, or um, the beginning of, uh, what's that, what's that series called, with the zombies, um, uh, The Walking Dead, it's like <laughs> The Walking Dead, all right, the beginning of The Walking Dead, when he walked out of the hospital and all the bodies were piled up, all right, that's how it's going to be out here, nobody's going to have time to lament or bury these bodies, all right, because it's going to be so many. All right, it's going to be so many people out here that die of grievous deaths. 
all right, just due to a, an electric shutoff, all right? A lot of things out here run off electricity. So for it to be shut off, it's going to cause a lot of chaos, and it's going, going to plunge America, Babylon the Great into great darkness, all right? Just like the scriptures say, all right, the day of the Lord is going to be gloomy in its darkness, all right? And that's exactly what an EMP strike would um, ensue, darkness, all right? It says, they shall die of grievous deaths. They shall not be lamented, neither shall they be get, get buried. But they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beast of the earth. All right. And in the case of an EMP strike, you know, you have darkness. All right. You wouldn't have street lights. You wouldn't have home lights. All right. Things would be flat out dark out here. All right. Which would plunge Babylon into complete chaos. All right. Because at that point, it's get it how you live. All right. It's not going to be no stove to cook your fuel to cook your food. All right, ain't going to be no heat in your home to warm you up. All right, you're going to have to take what you need. All right, take what your family needs all right, and get it how you live. All right, therefore causing a lot of people to die by the sword and die by famine. All right, it's going to be a survival of the fittest, so to speak. <laughs> all right, and the fittest in that day is going to be the Lord's elect. All right, because we have a promise, all right, that was made unto, the Lord made a promise unto his elect, Lord, when we be at that number. All right, that he would, lift up a standard for them in that time all right that he'll see them through famine all right he'll see them through pestilence in the sword all right and delivering them from the same but um going back all right it says an emp attack would destroy the electronics and digital circuitry in the area of impact therefore denying electric power to our homes businesses and military our country is dependent on electricity to power our health financial transportation and business systems and transportation would take a huge hit as well all right because the brunt of um vehicles nowadays are electronic all right especially with what these elites are trying to push with these uh eco-friendly um electronic vehicles all right a lot of transportation will be shut down therefore causing people to walk <laughs> everywhere you go all right just like the road just like i am legend all right but um going down i clicked on the first article that came up and uh, what caught my eye was this header right here. It says, there will be no sanitation, no waste disposal. Rotting corpses shall start, will start piling up all over the place. Sickness and disease will be, and then it goes into it. All right, but in the case of bodies piling up, all right, that's going to cause sickness. It's going to cause disease. All right, dead bodies bring disease and sickness, which is going to uh, bring to pass another prophecy of more pestilence. All right, just like it says in uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter. And let's get that as well in Jeremiah 28. All right, these are the things that the Lord sent his prophets out on the highways and byways to warn of. All right, this is our message to the elect. Of the nation of Israel, all right, to prepare yourselves for the battle. Make ye ready to the battle, all right, because great judgments are coming to the earth. All right, sword judgments are coming to the earth. And if you're not spiritually and mentally prepared for these things, you're going to get swept up and caught up in these same, the very same judgments. Are right, you going to become emotional in these days, which is going to lead you to your death. All right, you got to be detached from the ways of this world. You got to be detached from the people of this world. All right, they're getting ready to die of grievous deaths. All right, worry about your salvation. Worry about the elect. All right. Worry about your connection with Yahweh by Shemia All right. Worry about your faith, your wisdom, knowledge, understanding, which is going to be the stability and the strength of, your, of our times. So in Isaiah 33 and 6. All right. These things are coming down the pipeline. All right. Sooner than later. But it says uh, Jeremiah 28 and 8. The prophets that have been before me and before the old prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil. And of pestilence all right and right now we're seeing the onset of war all right world war three all right the stage being set for world war three we're seeing evils multiply upon the earth and we're also seeing pestilences multiply upon the earth all right and in the case of an emp strike like we're going into in tonight's lesson pestilence will be multiplied times 100 all right because you have so many dead bodies to the point where it's rotting corpses all right you have rotting corpses and rotting corpses bring about disease all right and i also had another article about the hazards of dead bodies. And when you read it, it says, I'm gonna just read this, uh, this paragraph right here that I just highlighted. It reads, infection risk from dead bodies. 
It says the diseases are categorized according to the degree of risk, although the risk may depend on the procedures being formed on, performed on or the type of contact with the body, um, yada, 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 tuberculosis, tuberculosis, hepatitis B and C, HIV, AIDS. Uh, you go down to the list itself. Infection and in um, in degree of risk. You have chicken pox, shingles, influenza, leprosy. Measles, mumps, uh, rubella, psychotic, can't even pronounce that, whooping cough, uh, diphtheria, food poison, cholera, malaria, HIV, AIDS, scarlet fever, tuberculosis, typhoid fever, uh, MER, SARS. Or you have all these diseases that come from contact with dead bodies. All right. And we're coming into the days in where dead bodies are going to be a norm. All right, stepping over dead bodies, man. Stepping over, you know, the dead is going to be the norm. All right, because a lot of things are getting ready to get shut off. All right, food supply is getting ready to be rationed, which is going to cause a lot of people to die by famine. All right, the sword is getting ready to be uh, uh, furnished, all right, and used out here in the streets, all right, due to uh, martial law, due to uh, civil unrest, all right, race wars, all right, which a lot of people are going to die by, all right, an EMP strike. It's going to cause a lot of the electricity, electricity systems to be shut off, therefore causing people all right, to die uh, from uh, whatever causes, you know. So these dead bodies are going to be a norm on the earth. All right. And it's going to bring about a lot of disease and pestilence. All right. All to which the Lord spoke about, all to which the Lord prophesied about, the prophets prophesied about from the days of old up until now. All right. Let's get this in Matthew 24. I'm going to hit verse 3 and then I'm going to jump down. It says, And he said, as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privily, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? All right, now these are the signs that Yahweh Shai um, left behind, all right, of the sign of his second return, all right, the sign of the end of the world. And when you jump down and give verse 7, it reads, For nation shall rise against nation. And kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places all right and these are the things that we're seeing happening daily all right here in these latter days all right we're seeing nation rise against nation all right famines all right being brewed up being um stirred up within the earth pestilences increasing in the earth earthquakes in diverse places all right which lets us know what that the lord is getting ready to make his second return right now he's visiting the world in which he made all right, and he's visiting through judgment. All right, he's visiting through plagues, through pestilence, through evil. All right, through the elect rising up around the four corners of the globe. All right, proclaim, proclaiming the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh All right, this is the Lord visiting the earth. All right, and these things are only going to increase. All right, these are just the beginning of sorrows. All right, right now what we see is just the beginning. All right, there are greater things that are going to happen in the earth. All right, that really can't can't be explained. It can't be put in words. All right, that's why the faith that we must possess, all right, brother stress it all the time, the faith that we possess has to be astronomical, all right? It has to be something that we can't express right now, all right? We have to have extreme amounts of faith to face the judgments that are uh, coming upon the earth. But um, let's see. Clicked on this article. see let's read a little bit of this and then we'll play that video and then we'll grab another description and we'll close it out Lord willing to be uh, edifying but it says while many people are aware of EMP attacks far fewer people actually understand what an EMP, EMP attack is how it works or how it would affect the country an EMP attack would without question be one of the very worst things that could happen to the United States if you've ever heard of the idea that an EMP attack could throw America back to the 1800s it is exactly actually it is actually very possible that it would it says some facts uh stands for electromagnetic pulse and it's basically a very powerful and intense pulse of electromagnetic radiation if this pulse is pow powerful enough it can fry the wiring and circuitry and in a strong enough magnetic field electronic electronics can be completely destroyed by the burst 
Now, this doesn't mean that those electronic devices are going to explode or anything, but it does mean that the electronic components are going to get fired, fried and will quit working. All right. And that will also issue in what? The famine or the word. All right. Because the main um, avenue of this truth is through this unicorn, through the, through the Internet. All right. And with electronics shut down, the Internet was shut down. All right. YouTube was shut down. All right. Your phone was shut down. You wouldn't be able to charge it. And then that will issue in the family of the word between the Amos 8 and 11. All right, let's get that. As well as uh, 2nd Edge 6, starting at verse 9. But uh, this is Amos chapter 8, and verse 11. Behold, the days come, say of the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. All right, and this EMP strike would very well cut off the words of the Lord. All right, they will cut off the, the, the avenue of truth. All right, the streams, the, the rivers of living water coming from these e epistles. All right, coming from the street preachings. It will cut it completely off. So, going back, it reads, but it does mean that electrical components are going to get fried. Hey, and that also goes into that MOTB, that chip. All right, because we know what? An EMP strike could very well be set off in wartime, all right, during World War III. All right, we know that before WW3 will come the MOTB. All right, we got to speak in so much code. But uh, we know that that Revelation 13 and 16 will have to be issued in before World War III, right? And so after the MOTB is issued, all right, and people have these chips within them, all right, these electro, uh, electronic devices within them, all right, in order to buy and sell, and this EMP strike hit, uh, uh, happens, all that wiring within their body is going to get fried, man. All right, which is, could uh, ultimately cause that, that grievous sore spoken about in the, uh, the book of Revelation to uh, come up uh, upon these people's hands. All right, that grievous sore from that, uh, from that, um, those circuits being fried in that chip, man. All right, that says, it is important to note that an EMP is not going to be dangerous to animals, plants, or people, right? Unless you're wearing something like a pacemaker or in a moving vehicle or a plane, right? Because planes are going to shut off. Vehicles are going to shut down. Are right, you on the highway? All right, your vehicle shut down and you stuck. All right, it says, or a plane, or you got that pacemaker in you. It's shut down and you have a heart attack or it blow up in your chest. All right, you get the, the, the wiring gets fried and it bro blows up and it fries your insides. All right, it says uh, you shouldn't need to fear for your physical health when the blast goes off, yada, yada. Um, let's see. Uh, what is going to be taken out by an EMV attack? Uh, the answer to this question depends on a number of different factors. We're going to jump down. It says these include, but are not necessarily limited to the power grid. <laughs> All right. The power grid. And we've seen what a shutdown of the power grid can do down there in Texas. All right. It caused people to freeze to death. All right. Because there's no, no way to get heat. All right. Especially in the wintertime. Right. That's why the scriptures say, pray not that your flight be in the winter. All right. But it says the power grid, laptops, tablets, cell phones, cell service towers, Internet routers, electronic gun safe safes, TA, and people won't be able to get to them guns that they've been stocking up. That's why the scriptures say what? It's Psalms 44. We're not to trust in our bow. We're not to trust in, in our arms, man. We're to trust in your high bashing that was shot. Because guess what? Guns fail, guns jam, but the spirit don't, man. All right, that safe get locked up, but the spirit of your high bashing that was shot will live freely and reign freely forever. All right, this is Psalms 44. And uh, verse 4. It says, let me see. I'm going to start at verse 4. The point is in 6. It says, no, nah, verse 3. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword, but neither, neither did their own arm save them, but by thy right hand and thine arm and the light of thy countenance, because thou hast had it. Thou hadst a favor unto them. Thou art my king, O power, commandest deliverances for Jacob. All right, and deliverances are coming for the nation of Israel. All right, Jacob 
it being the nation of Israel. Jacob's name was later changed to Israel after fighting the angel in, in the book of Genesis. All right. And Israel is extended into you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native American Indians today. All right. You are the house of Israel. All right. It says thou art my king, O power, command deliverances for Jacob. All right. And these deliverances are going to come in the midst of this judgment. All right. In the midst of famine, in the midst of an EMP strike. All right. The Lord is going to show his hand. The Lord is going to show his might, man, through his men. Lord, wouldn't we be at that number? All right. It says. Through thee will we push down our enemies. Through thy name will we tread them under under that rise up against us. For I will not trust in my bow. Neither shall my sword save me. But thou hast saved us from our enemies, and thou hast put them to shame that hated us. But the point being, for I will not trust in my bow, neither will my sword save me. All right, your bow, your sword, they can't save you in the times to come. All right, that bow and that sword being representative of the gun. All right, the modern day killing instrument. All right, your modern day killing instruments cannot save you. I don't give a damn how much you go to the target pack, uh, tar, uh, the shooting range, the gun range. All right, no matter how good your aim is, if you can't get to the gun, what good is it to you? You can't open up the safe, what good is it to you? If Jacob's trouble pops off and you're not at your house, what good is it to you? But the Spirit of the Lord is free, it reigns free. All right, it's there with you forever as long as you exercise it. It's there with you always. The scriptures say that an angel campeth around about them that love and fear the Heavenly Father. All right, Psalms 34, chapter. All right, there's an angel of the Lord by our side at all times for us to utilize through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shema was shy. So no matter where, where this thing kicks off, no matter where we're at when this thing kicks off, we'll be protected. We'll be we'll be we'll have a, a hedge of protection around us, man. But uh, let's see. Electronic gun safes, TVs, radios, refrigerators, and freezers, which is going to cause a lot of food to rot. All right. It says because a lot of people, they overstock their fridge. All right. They over um, they, they, they over shop. All right. Get too many meats. You know, they like to get the meat, put it in packages and freeze it in the freezer. All right. Save it up for another time. All that all that meat is getting ready to rot, man. It says. Thermostats, electronic banking, <laughs> all credit and debit card, which is what? Hey, ultimately, this, this system is going to fail. The system that these elites are trying to implement, it's going to fail. It says uh, computerized components of vehicles, cars, planes, ATVs, pacemakers, hospital diagnosis machines, anything with a microchip. That means two thirds of the nation of Israel and, and a lot of you heathens that take this this chip, the MOTB, you are gonna fail, man. All right, you gonna be taken out. <laughs> you gonna be taken out, man. It says what would an EMP look like? What you need to do is imagine a world where each of the items listed above are taken out instantly. Because that is exactly what the attack is going to do. For instance, cars are going to quit working instantly. At least the cars that were built since 1980, in which a lot of cars on the road now are, are far past 1980. All right. You probably got some 1998s, you know, some 1997s, you know, still on the road. But the vast majority of cars on the road today are, are from the 2000s up. It says planes will fall out the sky. Phones and laptops will be fried, and even if they aren't, they won't do much good without cell service or the internet. In essence, America will be thrown back into the Stone Age, as hundreds of millions of people across the country find themselves in a world without power. Looting and rioting will be almost certain to develop in in the hours and days following the attack hey, hours and days it's not gonna take weeks and months it's gonna take hours for these niggas to bug the hell out i'm telling you man these people are dependent upon this bread and circus they depended upon these electronics they depended upon the entertainment the luxuries and when all this shit is cut off and reality truly sets in when it's when people are left to their thoughts they're gonna find out that their thoughts are uh, is is a ghetto, man. A lot of these people's minds is like a ghetto. 
And that ghetto is gonna rain free on the earth when all these when all these people start to bug out hours and, and, and days after the attack, man. It says looting and riot would be almost certain to develop in the hours and days following the attack across major cities due to the lack of working electronic equipment military and law enforcement will be enormously slow to respond ain't gonna be no 911 ain't gonna be no help uh no 411 all that is shut off all right all that is shut off and that shit you was talking over the internet or how you was flaunting your assets over the internet on instagram you know having these simps thirst after you all that's gonna come to bite you in your ass This is second edges. Chapter 15. And we're going to hit verse 1. Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Why? For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. And jumping down, verse 14, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. But shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. All right, and these are the times that we're coming into. All right, and this EMP attack could very well set all this prophecy into motion. All right. Now, uh, I did have this video. We might just play a couple of minutes of it. But uh, let's see. Let's play a couple of minutes of this and then we'll grab another description and then we'll close it out. All right. Sharing with you some critical information in what I consider to be one of the most important videos I've ever put out. I've been trying to give people the warning here for the better part of a decade, trying to get them ready for a lights out situation. And it seems that here on this world stage, the stage is set for such an event to commence. With the finger already pointed at Russia in the other side, and cyber attacks already in motion, it's either going to be an onslaught of cyber attacks that hit in the beginning or just a flat out EMP strike. An EMP strike is considered to be a first strike move militarily. And we have ran the simulation over and over again. We've gone through all the options of what China, Russia, or anyone would have in terms of trying to shut down the United States. And time and time again, there's one thing that trumps them all. It is an EMP or a hemp attack over the United States and Canada that cripples them completely. You mix this in with a series of cyber attacks, you bring them to their knees just as they plan to do. There's books written on this by Manly P. Hall, The Secret Destiny of America, and what they plan to do with this country. And they're doing it right now. They have entered the dragon here on this world stage. That's Rock when you start to go off, man. But, um... Let's get this and then we'll close it out. This is 2nd Edges 16. And I'm we'll starting at verse 37. Behold, the plagues draw nigh and are not slack. As when a woman with child in the ninth month bringing forth her son with two or three hours of her birth, great pains can pass her womb, which pains when the child cometh forth they slack not a moment. And right now, what we're going through are the birth pains of, of the kingdom of heaven. All right, the birth pains of a new rulership. All right, it says, Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth. And the world shall mourn, and sorrow shall come upon it on every side. O my people, hear my word. Make ye ready to the battle. 
to thy battle and in those evils be even as pilgrims upon the earth all right right now is the time to make you ready to thy battle all right things are getting ready to get heavier on the earth man all right all these things that we read about all right that we listen to on a daily basis they're not just going to stay on the they're not just going to stay on the pages eventually they're going to manifest in our lives personally all right so now's the time man make you ready to thy battle all right Prepare yourself, all right? Measure the times diligently. Continue to measure the times diligently so that the Lord doesn't come upon you as a thief in the night. But with that being said, shalom.